Protecting astronauts on the International Space Station from harmful pathogens is leading to groundbreaking advancements in microbiology. The station has its own unique microbiome, with a diverse array of microbes introduced by crew and cargo. While many microbes are harmless and even beneficial, some can pose health risks to crew members. NASA microbiologist Dr. Sarah Wallace explains. We can't sterilize everything we send into space, and don't want to. But we do a lot to limit potential pathogens from making their way to the station. The space station utilizes HEPA filters and advanced water processing systems to provide exceptionally clean air and water. Crews continuously monitor microbial activity, which after many years has culminated in a comprehensive database that helps microbiologists to predict and prepare for microbial activity on the space station. Previously, to identify microbes, samples from the space station had to be sent to Earth. This prevented real-time responses and is not a process that will be possible on missions beyond Earth's orbit. In recent years, a portable DNA amplifier and a compact DNA sequencer have been used on station to identify microbes more efficiently leading to significant milestones. In 2016, DNA was sequenced in space for the first time. In 2017, the first unknown microbe was identified in space. In 2018, the first swap to sequence method was conducted on station. And in 2019, the first gene was edited in space using CRISPR. While just the beginning, these advancements are already providing benefits for medical and scientific research on Earth and hold promise for a future of long-duration space exploration.